Hi, it's John. Now this could be one of those videos where people complain about the clucking and they can't hear what I'm saying. But I'll have a go anyway. Now, what I've been thinking is about degrees of disenchantment with society. And if you had a scale, and at one end you had people who thought society was great and wonderful and just right, and at the other end you had um, people who were totally fed up, disenchanted with life and society, um, and uh, and sort of spitting spitting blood, as it were. Um, y you could probably put everybody on that scale somewhere. Um, and if if you when you meet people or when you watch videos or um, see them on the telly or whatever, you could put people on that scale. Because um, you can sort of see whether they're fully disenchanted or partly disenchanted or paying lip service to society but really they, they hate it. Um, or uh, all sorts of other permutations. You know, we all have to put up with it. I've just been out in the countryside and thinking about farm cottages. You know, if you've got a farm cottage and you, you know, how do you look after it? Do you keep it nice and tidy? Garden and hedges and everything. Or, or or do you just let it go, you know, well this is just, you know, somewhere to live whilst I'm doing this job, I'm not interested in it. Um, and if you're keeping it tidy, are you keeping it tidy for your sake, or because you want to keep the boss happy? Because you're afraid he's going to sack you, or become fed up with you, and you know, you're going to have to find another job. Um, it's not easy, is it, to... Uh, see why people do things or, or to actually you know you, you might assume that oh this person loves gardening but no they're not they don't actually love gardening they're just doing it to um, keep the wife happy or keep the boss happy um, you know really when they're really fed up with everything they, they'd rather be doing something completely different um, I suppose really what it is is the the people who are happy about society are the rich and the people who are unhappy are the poor and that equates out to education as well that people can become disenchanted with education at a very young age if they're pushed sort of beyond their capacity um, and on the other hand children can be educated before they're even four or five before they go to school by their parents and uh, and they can be reading before they go to school and they can always be that one step ahead and that's the way of the middle class and that's how they hope things will turn out continue for their offspring um, so they're less likely to become disenchanted with society but the people who are more likely to be disenchanted are, are the ones who, for whom the education system hasn't really worked. Um, it's not always the case because, you know, some people without education do um, do, do uh, you know start off things like um, Richard Branson's Virgin Empire. Anyway, bye for now.